Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last part of my declutter series of 2023. We are doing all of my lip products. Lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, lip glosses, lip oils, you name it, I got it. We're going through all of them. This is a long one. If you're interested in seeing more declutters and this is the first declutter you're ever seeing on my channel, I will leave my declutter series down below. Every year I do a full declutter series on my channel where I go through my entire collection, show you all of it, and just let you know which ones I'm keeping and which ones I am getting rid of. And this, like I said, is episode five out of five. And I do have like foundations and concealers and bronzers and blushes and eyeshadow palettes, a lot of eyeshadow palettes. All of that has already been live and that will be in the little playlist that is down below. Together with all the things from my past previous years, there is hours and hours of declutters if you wanna see more of that in the playlist down below. Thank you so much for being here throughout this declutter series, by the way. These take me forever <laughs> to film and usually my husband helps me with uh, editing them as well. So please thank my husband down below in the comments as well for helping me with editing these videos. It really does help me out a lot because December and November are pretty crazy times in this household. And usually when I do these declutters, if I find anything that I don't wanna keep that is unused, which is not that common with lip products, I'll put them to the side for giveaways or for charity if i find something that is like slightly used maybe even only swatched and i can give away to friends or neighbors i put those to the side if it's things that are used that are like old i'll just throw them away nobody deserves to get old makeup I'm sorry, and I do not give away any of my used makeup to my subscribers, so please do not ask for them in the comments. I usually do a bunch of giveaways here and there on my channel. I had a bunch this holiday season, so please don't forget to subscribe to be notified for future giveaways as well. I will for sure be having more of those in just a little bit, but let's dive in to the lip declutter. I got rid of a lot. <laughs> Okay, welcome to, I was gonna say lip product heaven, but I feel like this is lip product hell. <laughs> there is, I was gonna say a million, but like there has to be like 500 here, right? There is an abundance of lip products. And I will say lip products is a thing that I really like to switch up. So I do like having a variety of lip products, but maybe not this many let's pick out let's see if i i have some empty ones here this one let's pick out some oh, if i can empty some cat hairs out of this one <laughs> let's pick out some favorites that i know i'm gonna be keeping and then we'll slowly but surely work our way through stuff that i'm not keeping this is the uh matte lipstick from huda beauty i just kind of recently bought this one it's really really pretty i'm definitely keeping it i've only been wearing it twice but honestly i really like this formula this is board meeting and I really like this formula and I really like this color. Really are keeping it, it's beautiful. I have some of the Give Beauty lippies. These are the matte ones. This is original recipe. Probably my favorite red lipstick in my collection. Beautiful formula, beautiful color. This one is in Tragic Me. It's like a peachy beige. Again, I love this formula, definitely keeping it. I have a third one as well. And this one is in Lovable Me. It's more of a darker beige. Again, I love these colors. I love this formula. We are keeping those. I also really love the Natasha Denona formula. This is the I Need a Nude in My Dream lipstick. Actually, this is the one that's a little bit more glossy, but I really do like this one. So we're definitely keeping it. I also have this one in Andrea. This one, I don't actually like this color that much. I wore it not too long ago, but I didn't love it. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. Let me put a declutter pile over here. I also have these new ones from Natasha Nona. These are the red ones. I have the ones that are the more orangey red. I think these are called Gigi and Eva. So I actually just recently bought these and we're gonna keep them so far so good. I also have this one that is in Amorosa. This was part of her, um, I think, Valentine's collection, but I never wear this one over the, the I Need a New one, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I also have two other of these limited edition ones. This one is Maria. This is also a color that I don't really use, so I'm gonna get rid of this one too. And I have the one that's called Athena. This is pretty, it's a little bit more brown. I might actually keep this one because it's not, I mean, my husband is watching this declutter, he's editing this and he's like, these are the same, but you can see it's more beige brown. So I am gonna keep Athena. 
and maybe I'll get more use out of it now that I have a little less lipsticks. I also have two of the original shades. I have Noah and Charlotte. These are absolutely stunning. Noah is this beautiful darker beige that I absolutely love. It's like a mid-tone nude on me. Charlotte is yellow toned and you see it's almost like my my like nail color but maybe a little bit lighter i love a yellow toned lippy from now and then so i'm very excited to have that in this formula so we're keeping it oh this is the huda one in rasha which is the same but like the glowy formula this is also absolutely beautiful i do wear that one a lot so i'm gonna keep that this is the one from merit i have it in cabo i've only worn this once i was i thought it was okay I wasn't like blown away, but I thought it was okay. So we are gonna keep that one. I wanna get some more use out of it. I feel like this is my high-end one. I also have two from Vive. I actually really like these. This is in Coming In Hot, which is a little bit more of a terracotta nude. This one has been chilling in the heat when I got it. Oopsie, the Texas heat got this one. And this one is in 90s, which is also, they're the same. <laughs> But they're beautiful. I actually do wear these, so we are going to keep them. The I Need a New Gloss from Natasha Denona is beautiful. This is a lovely, again, same color as the... It's the My Dream Gloss. That's what it is. Not my, not the I Need a New. My Dream Gloss. It's like a mauve cool-toned beige. It's really pretty. I have a couple of the MAC lippies here. This one in Devoted to Chili. Still have not used it, but I'm determined to use it because I love this formula. I also have it in Impulse. This is, again, beautiful, like a little bit yellow tone, like caramelly beige. This is a great formula. This is the matte one. It's the Powder Kiss formula. Beautiful formula. I am going to keep these. I also have uh, two of the shiny ones. I have the Thanks It's MAC. It's also like a like a pinky beige. Actually really pretty. I've worn this a lot. This formulation is great. This is the Luster Glass Lipstick. And this is Business Casual, which is what I like to call a wearable red. This is beautiful. It's shiny. It is buildable, but not straight pigment out of the gate. And this color is stunning. Like, look at that. Look at that color. Absolutely beautiful. Then I have two, well, three lip products here these are the mac and star trek uh, these have wax blooming on them this is not mold it's wax blooming but i'm not using these i've never used them well actually i've used the gloss but like i think this one i might have used one time and this is the um killing on it cling on it actually and this one is the where no man has gone before the light one and then the gloss is in con again i'm just saving this because one day we might get another Star Trek collab. Um, <laughs> don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Maybe I'll find a better space for makeup that I'm keeping just for nostalgia. Because if you've been keeping up with my declutters, you know that these are not the first ones. So I might get like a separate part for those and not put them in my like actual collection. Okay, let's get rid of this one for now. And we can see if we can move, whoop, move into that one a little bit later. Let me see if I can put in some more lip products into this one over here. This is from Rare Beauty. I have it in Talented. I think I have two of these. This is the nudie one. I actually used this quite recently. I think this is a good formula. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the uh, Maracuja Juicy Chif Shift from Tarte. This is the one in Clementine, the orange one. I do have a second one of these. But I think it's in the mixed bag that I have up here. So we're going to get to that. I really like this formula. We're going to keep that one too. Ooh, this is a drugstore option. I should put some drugstore on the side. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Ex, 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 oh my god, I cannot say that word in English. I just realized. Exhibitionist. Exhibitionist. <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea how to say that. This is Orange AF. I love an orange lippy. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. I've only worn this once, but definitely recommend it if you want an orange from the drugstore. I'm going to put my orange options, or like my drugstore options, I should say, over here. I also have this one. This is the uh, a tint from Uma Beauty by Sharon C. I am actually going to get rid of this. Not because it's bad, but I have other tints that I reach for over this one. I also have... Ooh, this is the Ever... 
liquid lipstick. This is the orangey one from um, We Makeup. This is number 25. I will be keeping this one. I should have like an, an indie one as well. <laughs> I'll put this here for now. Maybe I can put these with the high end uh, because I want to have some indie, but I actually really like this formula. And when I want an orange lipstick, that is really nice. The Milani Fruit Fetish, um, this is the Pineapple Papaya. This was like one of these squeezy tubes. This wasn't my favorite uh, lip oil formula, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Here is a marker that I actually use. This is the Long Lasting Lip Color Marker from Kiko. This is great if you want to do the uh, reverse ombre. I actually do use this one a lot. Where am I putting this? Kiko? That's like drugstore, right? I have the Jason Wu in Biscotti. I don't use this one a lot. I think it's nice, but I do reach for other uh, like neutral colors over this. I don't think the formula is bad though, but like I can't keep everything. And then we have one of these Sephora Lip Stories Balm. These are actually nice, but again, I don't reach for this one over my other things, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the In Filler Instinct by NYX. It is like a glowy lipstick. I thought this one was okay, but again, I don't reach for this one over my more high-end version, so I am gonna get rid of this. I do love, though, the This Is Milky Glosses by NYX. I feel like I have a third one here. These are the milkshake versions, and I have the mint chocolate chip, the mango lassi, and the mink and, milk and honey. Mink, no, milk and honey. These are great, smell great, look beautiful, absolutely like these, so we are definitely keeping those. This one is also from Kiko Milano, but this one I have not used in a hot second. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I feel like, oh, I used to love these from... Um, L'Oreal, but I have not used this Nectarine Plump in a hot second. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I don't want to keep stuff just for keeping them. Then we have the AF94 Scribble Stick. I got this one at Walmart. It was okay, but I didn't love it. So we are going to get rid of that one. The Elf. This is a no doubt. This is the their version of the Audacious Lipsticks by NARS. I, don't, I think these are the Old Face Lipsticks. Not my absolute favorites, but there are good, and there is good, a good, and it is a good idea to keep something from the drugstore in my collection. I also am going to keep these things that I have from e.l.f. There's the lip stain in orange and the glossy stick with the little heart uh, center from e.l.f. I do like those. Let me keep those as well. Oh, here's another thing from uh, Kiko Milano that I have not used in a hot minute. So I'm going to get rid of that one too. This is the Shiny Lip Stylo. This was number one. And uh, the One Up Lip Gloss by e.l.f. This one I did not like at all, though. Don't mind the formula, but this is this packaging feels... It feels beyond cheap. This is something that you would get like in an advent calendar from Claire's. So we're not keeping that. I have some Sephora stories here, but I think we're going to keep this one for a bit. And we're going to go into some more indie things as well because i have this indie one that i want to fill up so i have some stuff here well let's start with these actually because i'm not going to keep these these are from the ace beauté palatopoly game love the palette and there's nothing wrong with the formula of these but these colors are not for me so we are going to get rid of those i have one of the lip glosses well i actually have two of the lip glosses here from uh, half magic these are really nice. I am going to be keeping the darker one and I'm going to get rid of the lighter one. I don't need two. This one was weird. This is a stain, so I am going to regret doing this. But it's like a metallic orange and it's really metallic on the lips, like super metallic. And then there's a stain underneath. But the problem with the stain is that even if you take this off and you leave the stain underneath, there's still going to be some of these glitter particles left. I just... For me, this was a weird one, and I love an orange, but I just cannot, I cannot get on board with that one. It was just a little weird. We have a gloss here from Lethal Cosmetics. This one is in Limelight. I have not used this in a hot minute, so let's get rid of it. Oh, I love the lip oils. I have a couple here from Lunar Beauty. I have been, I've been fetching all the stuff that I had in my, um, bags as well my handbags for once uh, usually i forget that but this time i did not i should have a red one here as well somewhere it's here in, in around somewhere really like these one of my favorite formulas so we are keeping that 
Ooh. Ooh, and I have the lipstick here. This is the lip set from the Strawberry Shortcake in Glam Light collection. I usually don't do pink, but somehow this pink I really liked and this gloss I actually reached for a lot. So I'm going to keep this. I think this is the best lip set that Glam Light has ever done and I really like it and we're definitely keeping it. Here's another one of these Palatopoly. Don't mind this one necessarily, but if I'm not keeping the others, I might as well get rid of that too. Oh, there's some more glosses here from Lunar Beauty. Do I need to keep all of these? I think I might get rid of these like more goldy ones and I'll save the red and the peachy one. And we have some liquid lipsticks as well from Lunar Beauty. This one is in uh, Hallow's Eve and Aphrodite. And I think that this is the limited edition orangey one that he had last Halloween, but I will be saving those two. Oh, this is unearthly. Let's do that in a little bit. And this is also unearthly. Is this a liquid lipstick? Ghoulish. Actually, unearthly has several greens that I actually really like. This one is not one of them, though. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This one is from About Face. It is a painted lip color. I've been trying to get on board with this formula from About Face, but I don't think that it wears uh, very gracefully. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. They have such great colors, though. I just can't get on board with the formulation. It's just not my journey. I have a couple of these from uh, Lethal Cosmetics. These are their, I think these are their blur lip formula. Do I need to keep all of them? Probably not. I'm going to keep these two. I feel like these are two colors that I would actually reach for quite a lot. It is Paradox and Nova. Should I be? Maybe I'll keep the red one as well. It's a really nice red. Now we have some indies in this pile here. Let me put this one to the side. Oh, I have some more here. Are these the same? Phoenix. No, I've already decided I'm keeping two. I'm getting rid of all of those. Oh, I have the ones. And I have one from Uda's Eye. And I have some liquid lipsticks from Laura Lee Los Angeles. And is this Kylie Cosmetics? Oh, yeah, I bought one of the lip kits from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm just going to get rid of it. I can get other nudes. Oh, and this is what I mean. They have some great colors. The About Face. This is, again, the liquid lipstick. I love this orange. It is in Canyon on Fire. Love this color, but I just... It just doesn't wear amazingly. It's like a fiery orange. And as you will see in this video, there's no shortage of orange lip colors in my collection. So I think that I will be fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to rearrange here a little bit so that we can do unearthly on its own. <gasps> this one. This is the Melt Golden. Oh, I love this one. I have not used this in a bit. It's a beautiful, like, mustardy nude beige. Oh, I want to use this one. Let's put this here on top so we can use that one. Okay, I was talking about the Oda's Eye. Oh, I thought that I got rid of... Um, I thought I got rid of these, but maybe I didn't. Look at me. So this is their... Uh, they have discontinued these, though. I, so I don't really use them anymore. And they're kind of old. This is their... A glossy lip stain, the old formulation. I'm actually going to get rid of these because they are discontinued. I'm going to put the unearthly on one side. Oh, this one is nice. This is the M Cosmetics. I think this is the faded Clementine like lip, glowy lip thing. This is really beautiful. I should use this more. I'm going to save that. And I think I have two of these Blend Bunny ones. This one I think is like a mauve pink. I don't really use colors like that, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. But then I have this one. It is in Tease, and it is like a, look at that, like a cool tone beige. I should really be using that one more, so let's keep that and put it on top so I don't forget to use it. I have a couple of these... I bought a um, set with the Laura Lee Los Angeles lippies. I think I'm going to save this one. It's more my color. This one is in Old Rose. So we're going to save that and I'm going to get rid of the other two colors. Even more of these lethal. Listen, I've decided to save some. I have not tried this one, but I want to. This is the uh, liquid lipstick formula from Half Magic Beauty. I'm saving this one. That's why I'm swatching it. I think it is a liquid lipstick formula, right? Mouth Cloud Magic Brownie. I think it's one of those like moussey lip colors. So I am saving that because I'm definitely going to be using it. Very excited about that. 
And I have two liquid lipsticks from Jacqueline Cosmetics. I am gonna get rid of those. And the gloss that I have from the Laura Lee Los Angeles and the uh, collaboration that she did with Erin Weaver, her niece. I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to clutter is this one that is, well, not that one. <laughs> this one that is a little bit more high-end stuff. So let's see if I wanna keep all of this high-end stuff because there is a lot of things here that's a little bougie. These are from Gucci. These are the glow lipsticks. I have it in Agatha. No, this isn't Agatha Orange. I think this is Louise Orange. And then I have it in Lynette Stone. These, one of them, you can see the stain here. These are one of the best glowy lip formulas on the market. Unfortunately, they're Gucci expensive, but the packaging, the feel of these, the look of these, the color choices, they're just so beautiful. Definitely keeping it. It's actually one of my most used formulas in my collection. We're so keeping them. Woo! Another formula that's really well used in my collection is the Glowy Lip Formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this, but this is my favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Glowy Lip Formula, and this one is in... Uh, this is Pillow Talk in that formula. Absolutely beautiful. I also have Noir Personal Shame, which I actually prefer over Pillow Talk in that formula. And it's just a beautiful, glowy, semi-sheer formula. Yeah, these lipsticks are some of my favorites. They're definitely here to stay. I have a Bite Beauty lipstick that I made myself. I made this together with Samantha March when we were in New York, so I'm definitely keeping it, even though I mean nobody can get it. This is a Gucci lipstick in a Royal Scandal. Beautiful cool tone lipstick. I actually do reach for that from time to time. This one I bought this year. This is from Hourglass, and this is in Sahara. I thought this was a really nice formula as well, although I don't like the packaging as much as some other high-end brands. It doesn't feel as nice, but I'll, I'll let it slide. I also have this one from Gucci, and this is, oh, I love this color. This is a girl from Paris, but this one is discontinued, but I'm gonna keep it. Look at this limited edition packaging. It is just so beautiful, and yeah, this color is like this beautiful burnt orange. We are keeping that one. I also have, oh, it's time to get rid of this one maybe. This is the uh, Hyaluronic Happy Kiss something. These are sticky and goopy. Uh, I kept them for reference, but like I've, <laughs> I've referenced enough. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, this one from Lancome. This is like a balm that's orange. I should actually use this one a little bit more. I think, I think this is the one, yeah, that's a little minty. You know what? I'm putting this on top. This needs to be used more. This is a nice product. Here's another Gucci one. This is the Painted Veil. This is their sheer lipstick. Beautiful. We're keeping that one too. Very Gucci-esque uh, packaging. And I do have some Charlotte Tilbury. I have Walk of No Shame. Again, this is my favorite color from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a muted red. I think it's beautiful. This is her classic matte lipstick. I think I have a matte lipstick. Oh yeah. Apparently I have two. I have the Stoned Rose. This is not the matte formula. This is the glowy formula. And again, we're in the orange territory. This is as orange as it's going to be over at Charlotte Tilbury. It's like an orange leaning peach. And then I have uh, Super Fabulous. This is like a 90s beige, a darker nude on me. Very beautiful color. Always when I wear this color, you always ask me what I'm wearing, so you seem to agree that this is a great color. So I am saving those lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one of the lipsticks, these, from Pat McGrath. This one is in Nude Fantasia. I didn't love this one the first time I used it, but I'm gonna give it another chance because I feel like it might be that my lips were a little chapped when I used it. So I'm gonna use it again and we'll see if it survives next year. We'll say again, this packaging, not as nice as some of the other high-end packaging. Oh, I guess I, oh, I have a small pillow talk. Always nice to have as reference, a small pillow talk. This one I bought because I love Ola Johnson, but I don't really wear this one a lot. It is from Bobbi Brown. It is in, it's a crushed lip color in bare. Uh, but I don't wear this a lot. I'm actually going to get rid of it. I should have just, instead of buying this, and I said this in my highlighter declutter, I should have just bought something from Ola Johnson. Because that's what I really wanted. I liked the designer. And and since then, I actually have. So I thought that's way better than, than whatever that was. 
And this is also from Lancome and this is the Shine Your Way in 323. Another orange. And this is a little bit more of a clear orange. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid... Yeah, this is the one that's not mint. I like the balm better. We're gonna save that instead. <sighs> this is from Armani. This is the Lip Power in 301. Oh, I got this one out of the recommendation of Michelle Wong. This is that... This is that, like, bright, like, orangey red. So this is what I should be using when I wanted that color that I got rid of, you know, the one from About Face. I should be wearing this one instead. It is a beautiful orangey red. And, oh, we're keeping that. This lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury, and I also have this lip gloss. This is the Star Wars and Pat McGrath. I don't even know if it's a limited edition color or not. This is nice, but I, when I want a gloss like this, I'm gonna be honest, I've been wearing the one from Glamlight and Strawberry Shortcake. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. But this one I really like the formula of. It's like a very juicy, just glass-like on the lips. I actually really like the formula, so I think I'm going to keep this one. And also this will be the only thing I'm saving from the Star Wars collection, even though this one is just a sticker that she probably got out of Etsy. So I'm going to keep that one. Uh, wait, I'm putting it here. This is the Pillow Talk. What formula is this? Is this a lip gloss? Oh, it's a pigmented lip gloss. That's not my journey. I think I got this in PR. Let's get rid of it. Oh, I have one of these lipsticks. These uh, are the Floresis lipsticks. I think you're supposed to push here. That is a really nice color, though. I don't know if I've used it as of late. But that is a really nice color. You know what? I'm going to keep that. Because I think the color is really cool. And this is a really... This is a bougie packaging. And I've been really into these like muted red sets of late. So I feel like I could keep this one. Why am I putting that in the wrong place? This is another thing that I bought out of a recommendation of Michelle Wong. This is from Dries Van Noten. And this is a $70 lipstick. But it is a really good lipstick. Is it worth $70? That I don't know. But it is really good. And it is really pretty. And I like the colors. So we are going to keep it. The packaging is, I mean, pretty dope. Pretty dope. Love this color. This color, me and my husband picked out together. And every time I show this to him and tell him about the story, he can't remember. But he's going to be editing this. And it's called Love, Love Rendezvous. And we bought this together in Rome. Whether or not he remi like remembers that, that it happened or not, it did happen. <laughs> it is a beautiful orange. And we are definitely keeping that one. Then we have... Uh, this is an ABH one. This is in Butterscotch. If I want a color like this, I'm actually going for the Charlotte one from Natasha Denona. So I'm actually going to declutter that one. And I have one of the... I do have two of these. But I don't know where the second one is. This is the Lisa Eldridge, her liquid lipsticks. Whoop! I'm almost tearing this place down. This one is in Fawn. This formula is really nice. It does dry down, but it takes some time because it is very, like, velvety and almost a little whipped in texture. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep that one too. And then I have three of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Two of them is her Velvet lipsticks, the matte ones. This is Velvet Affair. And I also have Velvet Decade, which is darker. Really, really pretty. And then I have one of her glowy lipsticks, uh, which is Meet Me in Berlin. That is a little bit more on the sheer on the sheer side and it is a beautiful milk chocolate absolutely stunning one of the prettiest lip colors in my collection i really like these i want her to release something like this but like in an orange this formula i would love that so yeah i'm keeping some of the high-end lipsticks as well i might reorganize this a little bit once i'm done but this is where i'm at right now i also have some more indie over here before we get into the unearthly i have two of the musia lipsticks here um this one is a little pinky i like this formula and i like this packaging i wish they had more out there colors this is a little bit more of a like a poppy peachy one i'm gonna get rid of the poppy peachy and i'll keep the pinky one and this is a shame i really like i really 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 like game beauty and i don't dislike this formula it's a little shiny i don't wear colors that like this in a shiny formula they're a little bit too bright maybe this red but honestly i have 
preferences that I like this one in a matte formula. So I'm actually going to get rid of these. I saved the eyeshadow palettes, but I'm going to get rid of the lippies. And then we have the Ace Beauté ones. These are really nice formulations. These are the lipsticks. I have it in... Oh yeah, these are the lipsticks that were a little weird to read. I actually really like these. They're a really nice shiny formula. Should I keep both of them? Hmm. You know what? I will keep both of them, but maybe not all of these, the liquid lipsticks. Maybe I will save, oh, there's a lip oil here. I'll actually get rid of that one. Is this a lip gloss? I don't know. I think I will save these two. Oh, they're a little bit more on the brownie side. This is Good Vibes and Applause. Who remember me calling this applesauce? If you remember that, you have been here for a bit and you are the real MVP. This is a plus. It is a beautiful color. I kind of want to wear it right now. I need to go and wash my hands. Okay, let's dive into the Unearthly Cosmetics. You can see this is overflowing and I kind of want to get rid of some things. I'm not getting rid, of course, of the collab that they did with my bestie Heather Austin. This is the gloss. We're definitely saving that one. I also really like this green gloss. This one is called Moss. I think this is a really fun gloss, either on its own or as a topper. It's really, really pretty. So we are keeping that one too. I prefer their satin formula and I bought some of these in the matte liquid lipstick formula. And I think I'm gonna save only the satin liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these. This like gloss that's a pink one, it was the Cupid's lip gloss and this was their um, I think Valentine's collection. Don't use pink that often, and especially not shimmery. And I actually think that this was pretty nice on the lips, but I haven't really reached for it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Here's another one of the, uh, I think these are satin, but in the old packaging. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Just trying to, here's another one, it's a purple. I'm just trying to see ooh, if there's any here that I don't think, oh here, here's one of the uh, matte liquid lipsticks that I don't think that I'm gonna be, oh my god. What kind of yuck is on this one? <laughs> Go away, I say as I put it on the floor. So there's a bunch of these shades. There are a little bit more on the neutral side that I will be keeping. Love this formula. This is the uh, satin liquid lipsticks. And I have uh, Kylina, this one here. I actually wore the other day. So we'll be saving those. Like I have more. This one is gnarly or gnarly. I don't think you're supposed to pronounce the G. This is their orange. They need to come back with this one in their permanent collection. This was in their summer mystery box. It is such a good orange. It needs to come back. Uh, I am going to get rid of... Some of these have been discontinued. I think these brighter shades. So I think I might get rid of some of these. This is the green that I was talking about. This is Mandy. I don't know if they discontinued this one, but I really hope they didn't because this is such a great color. I'm going to keep it. It's beautiful. I kind of want to wear that now as well. I have Diana. I'm going to keep some of the darker ones. I don't really reach for like more pinky red ones that often. Oh, Jeanette is so good too. This one, it's almost like a mustardy, like ochre. Like look at that. Like a yellowy brown. So cool. And this is another liquid lipstick. And I think I'll be saving this one too and I'll get rid of the darker one. It's just that this is more my jive, if we're going to be totally honest. I think I have some other ones that I'm going to... Let me actually clean this one out and I'll put them back in this one. And I think I have some other ones coming up in a bit that needs to go in here as well. Here we have a mixed bag of things. There are some... Uh, a gloss from LH Cosmetics. I have several of these, but I'm going to save the middle color. It's... Oh, it's right here, actually. I see it. It's here on the side. This one. It is in Dusty Rose. So I'm going to save the Dusty Rose, and I'm going to get rid of the, the lighter one. This is the Chucky lipstick. I have a couple of things from Glam Life. I don't reach for the lip formers a lot. I usually wear their Strawberry Shortcake one. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is from R.E.M. Beauty. This is their liquid lipstick. Again, it's one of those like fiery orangey red. I'm actually going to keep this one because I remember thinking that this one was pretty nice. Now I sheared it out, but I remember thinking that this was pretty nice. 
This is from the Scooby-Doo. This is nice though. It's like a nice neutral. It's from the first Scooby-Doo collection that Glamlike did. Let's say that one. I remember these Michaela ones not being totally my kind of colors. It's like a mauve pink. Let me get rid of that one. I have two of these from Odin's Eye. I think this one is the uh, light peach. It's the matte one. And I also... Wait, this is the wrong one. This is supposed to have this one. Hold on, hold on. And this is the shiny one. It is in uh, Love Jasmine. It's like a more shiny terracotta one. So I'm going to save those because I have one of each. Here's another one of the Chucky ones. I do not usually wear dark colors like this. I have one. Oh, I have the Hidden Dash one. This one is the peachy one. I'm actually going to keep this one for reference. I think I'm going to put that in my luxury basket. I didn't hate this color and I kind of want to see what else he's doing in the future. And I really liked his component. Oh, here's another one of these Scooby-Doo. This is a bit more pink, so I am going to get rid of that. I wish it was an orange and an orange packaging, but we are not that lucky. I think this one has been hanging on for too long. It's the Mystic Moon. Let's get rid of that one. It's from Gerard. I have one from Colourpop. Oh, I think I saved this one because I wore it once and I wanted to wear it again, but I have not. This is the Hazelnuts About You from Colourpop. Let's get rid of that one. I have so many lipsticks. Oh, one of these dragon lipsticks. Oh, this is a dark one. Maybe let's get rid of this. I mean, I love the packaging. I had more of these, but I actually gave them to my mom. And you know what my mom did? She used them up. <laughs> My mom is the, the real panner over here. I have two of the liquid lipsticks from Linda Halberg. These are really nice as well. This is again an orangey red. I do love a color like that. And this is a cool tone brown that is super, super gorgeous. I think this is called Nougat. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. Is it called Nougat? Deep Nougat. Absolutely stunning. So this is from LH Cosmetics. And I have from Wayne Goss. I have not worn this one since i got it this is a nutmeg so i think maybe we can get rid of that one and i have two from lh cosmetics here as well this is the majestic lipsticks it's in mellow mauve which is more of a neutral i actually like these lipsticks a lot they're a really nice formulation and this one is in sepia which is a darker one. I think I'm gonna keep the lighter one because the darker one, when I'm looking for a color like that, I usually wear the Natasha Denona Leo. It's not called Leo, it's called, I forgot the name, but the one that I showed you before. How can I not remember the name? I'm blacking out. Either way, I have some of the uh, Fantastics from LH Cosmetics as well. This is like an orangey one. I'm not sure if I wanna keep all of them. Probably I will. This one is cultured. This is goldstone. And then I have ametrine. Ametrine is probably my most used one. It's a really cool... It is... This is like a glossy formula that's like you can build it up. But this is like a... Almost like a gray violet that actually looks really nice on the lips. And then we have pink opal. That's more of a... Like a wearable mauve pink these are really nice and i still do use them so we are going to be holding on to those i feel like oh here's another one no wait hold on i feel like i have more stuff that's like lh cosmetics here's one this isn't famous this is probably my newest favorite color it's like a brownie beige i do like that one a lot so let me keep that one too i feel like i have more lh cosmetics here somewhere oh yeah here i see them they're over here I have more of these Fantastics. Do I need all of these? This is the Kiss of Life. It's actually my newest one. I am going to hold on to that one. This is the Sunstone, which is supposed to be a little bit more of a peach. Let me hold on to these and see, because some of these are new. This is also Pink Opal, and this is Topaz. Oh, I got an unused Pink Opal. I'm going to put that in my giveaway basket. And this is Topaz. Which, look at that. I really like that color. But I'm going to hold on to all of these colors. This is a really great formula. And I'm going to see which ones of these get the most use throughout the year. Because this is one of those formulas that do tend to live in my 
a handbag from time to time so I'll, I'll see which ones of the newer colors end up being my favorites and I can do a further declutter next year. Should we go into Colourpop? I have a couple of Colourpop here. Uh, let's see if we can go through some of these. This is the one that they did with uh, Sophia, the cool top one. Oop, I am losing one but I actually use the one uh, either something like this. I haven't been reaching for this and also it's turning a little bit old. I did get this as a gift and I'm very grateful and I have been using it but I think it's time to let that one go. I have a so glassy lip gloss here. I think I'm gonna let go of that one. The luxe lip glosses are not my favorite. I like the lip oils though but I don't love the lip um Lux lip glosses. I feel like I have more here somewhere. This is going to be a little bit of a thing, but the Lux lip glosses, they're not my favorite formula from them, but I do like the Lux lip oils. This one is an older one though, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And I like these so glassy ones. I wonder if I'm going to save one so glassy that has shimmer and one that does not. Let's put that in the maybe pile for now. I also have some Lux lip oils. I have so many of these Lux lip oils. And I mean, there is no way that I need all of these. Here's another one of these Lux lip glosses. This is from the Winnie the Pooh collection. I love Winnie the Pooh, but I just don't love this formula. So let me get rid of that one. Oh, is this another one of the um, glassy ones? Is this one of them? Yeah, this is so glassy. You know what? I'll keep this one instead of the one that's a little bit more neutral to just make it a little bit more fun. This is an ultra glossy lip. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't wear that one a lot. Here is one they did with Snitchery. Uh, it's a lip uh, lippy stick. I have not been using this a lot at all. So let's get rid of that one. Here is another one of these so glassy ones. I did keep one. So let's get rid of this one. With the lip oils, I think, oh my god, there is a hair here and it is most probably mine. With these, is this another so glassy? Okay, let's get rid of another one of these so glassy ones. Is this another one so glassy? Okay, let's get rid of that one too. Do I need all of these lip oils even though I love lip oils? No. So I'm going to keep the Lux lip oil that was from the, I think this is the Coral collection, right? Am I incorrect? I don't know. The brownie one. I'm going to keep the one that's the grogy one, the child one. I am going to keep this one because I use this one a lot. This is the hot stuff. It's like the new one. It's a brownie one. The pink and the blues and the shimmers. You know what? I'm going to get rid of these. I don't need all of them. I am fine. I am okay. <laughs> I will survive. And I have some of these just a tint. If you have been on my channel for a while, I wonder where the red one is. The red one from the uh, High School Musical collection. I actually really like that one. It's called uh, Cello. I don't know where it is, but it's probably been floating in my handbag. So it's here somewhere. That one is really beautiful. I'm going to keep those two and I'm going to get that one. And I'm going to get rid of these two. That's what I wanted to say. Here is a Lippy Duo. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one can't even fit more stuff in here oh and this is from the snow white collection this is a color that i just i don't wear this a lot so let me actually get rid of that one uh oh here's another lux lip oil and you can tell this one is well used so maybe it's time to actually get rid of that one here is okay this one has been discontinued for forever but this is one of the most statement lips that i feel comfortable in in my collection so i'm keeping it because i love it and this is check please this is a bright almost fluorescent orange in their matte formula it has been discontinued but i love it it is in check please i think you can see it here check please and it's absolutely stunning color and i'm gonna keep it for me this is the dark lord this is the star wars collection i'm gonna keep this because i love star wars and the color is actually pretty nice these glowing lips are really beautiful. I have some of the Muppets one. I think uh, Muppets and a glow and two glowing lips from the original collection. I'm gonna keep all of these actually. Which ones are these? This is Warm Up Guy and Indulge Me. Really nice colors. Are they super different from each other? No, but I'm gonna keep both. Don't come for me. I like this formula. I think it's a great formula. I actually could see myself getting more of these, especially if they were to release 
uh, more colors i could definitely see myself getting more so yeah i think i have more color pop here somewhere so we'll keep this one out and we can fill up with more when we get more Okay, so I pulled up some more things here, and the first thing I see is another one of these glowing lips from Colourpop. Again, I'm gonna keep this one as well. I think this is a really nice formula, and I think I will keep it. Okay, I have... What am I starting with? Let me actually start with this one. This is from Revlon. This is the Suede, Color State Suede Ink. I don't like this formula at all. This formula crumbled off my lips. Uh, I didn't like this one at all. I'm definitely, definitely getting rid of this one. I also put some of the things that I've actually had in my, in my bags. I put them here. You can tell that some of the things that I've like had in my bags. I did not love the red, uh, this one in red. And I have that some, oh, it's here. I see it now. The Merit. I like the one in brown. I think this one gives more color and I think it's a really... Let me actually put these back. I think this is a really nice color and I really do like this on the lips. I don't like the applicator though. It doesn't pick up enough product. It's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna get rid of the red one. I don't think this did much at all. But the brown one, you know what the brown one? I really like. So we are keeping that one. Let me put that here to the side. This is my favorite color of the Lux Lip Oils. This one is in Hot Spark. From Colourpop. I don't think they make this color anymore though, but that doesn't mean that I'm getting rid of it because I still love it and I still use it. Here are three, well this is two baby. This is two more shades of the Lumina Beauty Lip Oils. Oh this one is actually a little bit, a little bit gross, but I love these so I am definitely keeping them. I need to reorganize this a little bit after this as well, so maybe I can include that too. This is my favorite lip treatment to have like in my bag on the go. This is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I have it in Chai and Petal. Absolutely love these. Like you can tell I have two. I fetched them out of two different handbags. I think these are absolutely great. This one I'm gonna dis declutter. This is the NYX Fat Oil. I don't think that this was a good formulation. It didn't feel like an oil on the lips at all. It just felt like a sticky gloss. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. Here's another one of the Lux Lip Oils. It's a pink one. Let me get rid of that one. This one is a slept on product. This is the Vive Lip Dew. And this is like a mix between lip oil and a lip balm. I actually really like this one. It's very nice on the lips, super cushiony. It smells like toffee. I really like it. I have it in Pesca, I think. Yeah, in Pesca, which is peach in Italian. Look at me, look at me go. Uh, I really love this one, definitely keeping it. I think I fetched this one out of a bag as well. I got this one from Fawn Beauty because I was thinking I wanted a orange lip oil. Um, it's okay, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for in the lip oil. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I feel like I like the ones from the orange one that came out from Blend Bunny more than this one. Oh, and here are two products that I usually use a lot uh, in my bags as well. This is Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. I have it in Cocoa Kiss and Banana Kiss. I do prefer the banana one though. They do leave a little bit of a milky um, effect on the lips, which I really love. And I think these are absolutely great. Okay, this is the House Labs lip oil, the PH, they call it the PHD lip oil, which is fun. Uh, these are a little color changing. I actually have not been using this orangey one at all, but I'm going to keep it and see if I can get some more use out of it. I do have some of these Sigma ones, and these are really nice, but I, as you can tell with how much I've used them, I barely use the other ones. I only use this one in tint. So I think I'm going to keep the tint one. It's a really good formula and I like this tint one. It has a, well, a light beige tint to it. And uh, I have the Juvia's Place grape one, but I don't use this one anymore. Now that I have the one from Naturium, so I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Ooh, and the Givenchy Balm. I have it in, it gives this beautiful like smoky effect on the lips. It's very cool. So I'm going to keep this one. It's a really nice one. And it's bougie. And I like it. I should use it more. And this one I love. This is the Rare Beauty Balm. This is a liquid balm from Rare Beauty. The applicator is so-so, but this is so nice on the lips. Looks beautiful. I have it in Nearly Neutral. 
such a good product definitely keeping oh i have some more of these lipsticks that we'll get into in a bit and i feel like i have more of these as well oh yeah here it is let's actually talk about these then these are the you know those like gloss in a stick from makeup by mario i have two colors i have the mauve glow and i have the honey glow my favorite is the honey glow I think these are really nice they have a slight tingle on the lips but they do not hurt like a plumping lip balm i think they're really nice the only problem with these is that you can easily go overboard and apply too much on the lips and it can look a little goopy but overall i think it is a really good product i also really like the nars i think this is torrid yeah this is torrid it is a lip balm this is really nice and this is nice because not too much comes off so you can really build up the color you want without um like making it go too goopy and i feel the same about this formula as i feel about the lawless bombs these are the oh this is in the watermelon color these are also like a little bit more like actual bombs like you can build up as much color as you want it doesn't really get goopy like the ones can be from the makeup by mario I really like these. I feel like I have another color of these somewhere as well that I've been using. And I'm actually going to say both of them. This was the watermelon one from the summer collection. I think this is a nice formula for like a colored balm. In more like the traditional sense of a balm. I don't know where the other one is, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh, here's the other Rare Beauty lipstick. This one is in Fun. It's a little bit more of a terracotta beige like i said i do like this formula so we are gonna keep it where am i let me just put it here for now Ooh, this one came up this year i feel like these got so so reviews but these are the tints like the stains from huda beauty i have mine in peachy kiss it leaves a really beautiful light orange tint on the lips i have not used them on the cheeks but on the lips they're beautiful i'm keeping that one for sure Oh, I have the Aryan Beauty lipstick. There's nothing wrong with this one. I think this is Tiramisu. Yes. I just have not used it a lot. So I think I'm going to get the clutter this one. But I do love these. Oh, and I have two colors. The Slim lipsticks. These are more like a satin lipstick. I have it in two colors. I think the light one, this one is lingerie. Yes. And the darker one is in Cuddly. These are a really nice formula. Uh, I really like these. A nice satin, comfortable lipstick. It looks beautiful on the lips. Um, and I like the slim lipstick. It gives precision. And I like the packaging with the little astronaut helmet thing. I mean, I like it enough that I bought a second color. I think that that says something. I do have a second color of this somewhere as well. <sighs> we'll find that. We'll find it with time. And this is the Moira Signature Lipstick. This is number five something natural. Natural look. These are beautiful. Like these Moira Signature Lipsticks, they're also a nice like glowy, thin, glowy formula that looks beautiful on the lips. I cannot recommend them enough. Like look at how glossy and glowy that is. They're affordable. They're amazing. They are not good for the price. They are a good formula and they're good enough so that I bought a second color that is floating around here somewhere. Oh, here's the other one. The second one I bought. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump and I bought one that I haven't used yet. And, oh no, this is not the, oh, this is the one that's not the um, shifty one. I thought this was the shifty one. So this is the one in peachy beige. And you can see almost how goopy this is. It's so easy to go overboard on the lips. And I don't feel like the, the one that is the shift one, the reason why I like that one so much, the one I showed you before, is because it doesn't get this goopy on the lips. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I know that it's been super hyped, but it's a little goopy. It's, it's a little goopy. Ooh the stranger things lip gloss in yellow this actually is really nice but the lip glass is so goopy from mac but i love the color though should i keep let me keep this one for a little bit there might be a time when i would want something to be a little warmer this i'm gonna declutter this is the stila calligraphy lip stain the problem with this stain i love the color i love everything about this but the longevity isn't there and i feel like longevity is the one thing that needs to work with the stain if a stain doesn't have longevity then it's pointless absolutely pointless and we're not keeping it this is the maracuja juicy lip cream from tarte I felt like this was just okay. It's a satin lipstick. Um, I'm going to get rid of that one. The classic 
Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I have not used this in a hot minute, but I'm saving it for reference. Oh, here's the other balm from Lawless. Told you, I have another color. This is in Georgie. I'm gonna save that one too. Like I said, I like the formula. Oh, and again, saving for reference, this is Black Honey by Clinique. I feel like some things, some things you just need to have in your collection as a makeup reviewer for reference. Black Honey, Original Gloss Balm, Pillow Talk. Like there's just a couple of things that you kind of somewhat need to know. This is also a Juicy Lip. Uh, this is one that I actually like more, I think. This is the one, yeah, I think this is the one I like more because it's not as... Actually, this is Goopy too. You know what? I like the Shift ones better. Let's get rid of that one too. I love this one, but I'm gonna get rid of it because it's old. This is the Gloss and Balm from Natasha Denona. This one is the Lip Euphoria one. It comes in two different colors, but this has been discontinued. I think this one is in... Yeah, this one is called Mauve, even though I think it's like a light beige. These were beautiful, but she discontinued these and I really... <laughs> I miss them. They're beautiful. I don't know why she dis discontinued these Lipophorias. They're really good. Really good. But this is old. I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, we have a About Face. Uh, also one of those clicky pens. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of this for the exact same reason. You can see Goop City. Too goopy. Not gonna keep that one. Ooh, Fenty had some of these shiny lipsticks. Do she still have these? These are nice, but I'm actually gonna declutter them because I never reach for these over some of the other glowy lipsticks that I've been showing you, either from expensive ones like Charlotte Tilbury Gucci or even more affordable versions like uh, the ones from Tarte or the ones from Linda Halberg. So I'm gonna get rid of these, but I am gonna keep the stain from Fenty Beauty. Beautiful orange. This is actually really dope. So I'm gonna keep that one. And if anyone has been paying attention, you should know that I love the House Labs crayons. Absolutely beautiful. I have it in four shades. This is a great formula and I keep buying more colors because they are really good. I also really like the Rare Beauty liquid lipsticks. I have not been using any of them in a little bit though, but I do think they're really nice. This one is in Limitless. This was the, yeah, the Rare Impact, like the, the one that they gave money to the Rare Impact. So this was the Charity shade of last year that I bought. Um, and then I have the Brave one. I think it's called Brave. Yeah, the Terracotta one. This one is part of the, lim the permanent range though. But yeah, I like these as well. And I want to use them a little bit more. So hopefully now that I get rid of some more lippies, I have the opportunity to use the ones I love a little bit more. I'm finding the second one now and I feel like this is the middle one. And this is the darker one of the LH Cosmetics one. The Mellow Mauve and the Dusty Rose. I'm gonna save this one because I got rid of the lighter one. Now I'm getting rid of the darker one and I'm saving the middle one. I also have, oh, I have so many things in this one from brands that I really, really enjoy. Like I have all of these lip oils. Is this all of them? I think these are at least the ones I have here from Blend Money Cosmetics. I have an orange one as well that's usually sitting on my desk that I have in another box here. I love Blend Bunny Cosmetics formula. I cannot keep all of them though. So I think I'm gonna keep this brown one. This is in Love Bite and I'm gonna keep the orangey one. One from each collection. One, you can see the orange one has this like corally lid. One from the neutral collection and one from the bright collection because they're not that different on the lips. I'm just trying to justify for myself why I can't keep all of them. I also have some of these from Kasha Beauty. These are really, really nice. They're like a, they're supposed to be like a glossy lip stain and cheek stain. I only use them on my lips though, but I really like them. But I think I'm gonna keep the one that's a little neutral and I'm gonna get rid of these, even though, again, they're really nice. I just don't need all of them. This is a really nice red gloss from Juvia's Place, but I feel like I've been using Actually, there are times when a red gloss... If I don't find another red gloss, I'm gonna keep this one. Remind me if I find another red gloss. Oh, two more liquid lipsticks from We Makeup. This one is more of a peachy orange. Let me actually get rid of that one. But I am gonna save the green. Because green is a really power color to wear on your lips. And this is a great green. And I will say I have some other great greens as well from Unearthly. Oh, here's the other one of this. I feel like I saw the first one here somewhere. Did I miss that? 
that. Okay, so the Rare Beauty uh, lip oils, this one is in Honestly. And honestly, I don't like them. So I'm going to declutter them. I don't think this is a good formula. I was going to say in my humble opinion, but maybe it's not so humble. I also have a lip gloss from We Makeup that I haven't used in a long time. And also an orange gloss from Fawn. I'm going to get rid of these two. I have a bunch of lipsticks from Sigma Beauty. Um, I feel like I'm going to keep... They're a little bit similar. I like the Deja Vu one. Let me actually see which ones I like. I'm gonna get rid of this red one because if I do a red, I'm gonna do the one from Gwen Stefani. Is it Temptation? No, Temptation is a little bit more of a pinky one. They do be loving their pink lipsticks. Scarlet, uh, a little bit more of a, a muted red one. And then I'm, I have other ones that I'm gonna be reaching for. Um, peach Tea, also a little bit more peachy pink. And new mod this is definitely a pink this is all pink new mod if you like pillow talk you will like new mod and then we have red velvet red velvet is the one that's actually a little bit almost like a brown so i am gonna keep these two the deja vu and the red velvet of the sigma color they're really nice lipsticks though i just didn't need all of the colors i really like oh i really like these wee makeup lipsticks I think they're great colors, especially Humil. It's such a good color. <sighs> I have not used these in a bit. This is number five. It's all these are such great colors, though. I kind of want to keep these. These are a nice, fully opaque, slight satin lipstick, and they're a great formula. I think I'm going to keep them a little bit longer. I have a bunch of Juvia's Place and Proper Beauty here. And I have a bunch of the Sephora collection. I think with the Sephora collection, I think I'm just going to save my favorites. I like this one. The one that has a little yellow tone. This is number 77. This is so cool. Um, this one, I think this one is... The one that's like a neutral sheen. I don't know if I like... I haven't reached for much of these in a hot minute. This one is S -S Labyrinth City. This one is a really cool color though. I might save this one. I have another orange here, but like I have oranges. So I think I'm going to save Labyrinth City and the two that are a little bit yellowy orange because I feel like they're a little bit unique. Okay, Colourpop is here in case we find more Colourpop, which I can tell you already, we will. I also have this one here that has some stuff in it. Uh, so we're going to get to that one too. Let's look at these BK Beauty ones. This is the red one. It is in Empower. I want to keep that one. I think I'm going to get rid of the ones that are a little pinky because I never wear pink. This is Inner Beauty. This is a pink, but I need to figure out. I'm going to save this orangey one. I need to figure out which ones are the most pink and which ones I can... This one is very pink. This one is in self-love. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we have... Oh, I feel like I might have more of these here somewhere as well. This is also pretty pink. This one is in passion. So let me actually get rid of that one. And then we have kindness. This is more of a peach pink. Let me save this one. And I feel like there should be a nude here somewhere as well. But some of these things have been a little bit mixed up. Because I've been reviewing some of these things. I do have a bunch of these Juvia's Place lipsticks. I Again, I love me a yellowy brown. This one is in Nile. I think it's stunning. This one is in Soil. Look at this like nice wearable red. Never used it. Never used it. I need to. It's a crying shame. I also have oh, So Red and a Freak. And I feel like I'm going to get rid of So Red. Because if I'm looking for a lipstick like this, I'm going to do the Gwen Stefani one, the Give Beauty. But this one, the Afreek, it is this really nice bright light red. I'm saving that. I have actually been... There have been occasions where I've been really wanting that one. I have two of the uh, darker ones, Fierce and Frenemy. Fierce is a really, really dark red. And Frenemy is almost like a blackened purple. 
there are times when I want something like this. So these stay in my collection for that reason. And then I have a bunch of lighter ones. I actually really like these. This is Libra Stunning. I, I mean, I love these colors. I really do. So I think I'm gonna save these. Every now and then, this is toffee. This is beautiful. Every now and then, I do reach for these. And I have saved my favorite colors. This is muted. Look at this muted. It's almost like a grayish. So cool. Lady is almost like, almost light as well. But it's like almost yellowy beige. So cool. I love the undertones of these. Me is a peach. Really nice peach. There are times when that's really nice. And then we have 2020. This one is more like a pink. Let's get rid of 2020. Look at me getting rid of one of them. But I really like these colors. I think they're so cool. And then we have these from Proper Beauty. And I really do like these. But I think I'm going to save some of my favorites. I like Limitless. I like Finesse. Look at that. Mmm. I like Victress. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to get rid of Closer. I have not used dark colors like that. Profits. I think I'm going to get rid of that one too. Prime Time is a little bit more of a muted red, but I have colors like that. So let me see. I really hope that this brand would come up with something new, but I haven't seen anything in a bit. This is Moxie. I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. And then we have... Her Magic. This is a really cool color. I'm actually going to save that. It's really flattering. And Made It, which is a beautiful orange. Like this orange is what orange dreams are made of. So stunning. Absolutely love it. Let me clean this one out and we can get some of these back in. Like this for now and we'll see what happens okay so this one is a mix of things that are just either new has never been used has been floating around on my desk or floating around in my makeup bags or in my review pile this is just either stuff that are very well used or pretty new to my collection i do have the black lip oil here from blend money cosmetics or it's like a gray oh my god sorry it's like a gray uh, black and dark gray, like a stormy gray. I am going to be keeping this one as well. And hopefully I'll find the orange one here as well. Two of the lippies from my collection with Uda's Eye. When I'm foaming these, these are still in stock, but I have no idea if they're still in stock now. This is uh, radioactive. It is a nude with green shimmer. And this is Shadow Creature. This is the muted red. Love me a good muted red. Of course, I'm keeping these. The other ones are here somewhere too. Uh, I have the Ghost Face Gloss. I think I'm actually going to get rid of that one. I have the Ghost Face Lipstick, which is that like, yeah, the muted gray one. You know what? I might keep this one. Uh, it's nice to have another lipstick from Glam Light that I really do actually enjoy. This is the Fruit Fetish Lip Oils. I'm in the process of reviewing these from Milani. I have not made up my mind yet, so I'm going to be keeping that. This from Kasha Beauty. This is the uh, Raspberry Refresher Juicy Glass Lip Oil. These are nice. Um, they smell a little fruity floral, but I think these are really beautiful. I'm going to keep this one as well. It's pretty new to my collection. I have some of the new ones from Unearthly Cosmetics here. And, oh, here's another one of these Naturium ones that I love. I have it in spritz. I feel like this one has been floating around in my bag this entire summer. It's absolutely beautiful. And, oh, there's something. This one I'm going to get rid of. Oh, here's the other one from Moira. Wow, I am not keeping track. This is from Pacifica. I was hoping to see if this would be the same um like just affordable glowy balm option but i don't love this as much as the naturium one even by a long shot so i'm gonna get rid of this one this is the other color from moira this is number 15 warm nude again beautiful glowy wonderful formulas i'm definitely keeping that one 
This is the, uh, I think there's a gloss here as well. Oh, it's here somewhere. This is the liquid lipstick that Ofra did together with my friend Ali Dawson. This is in Kaya. I do not use a lot of, if ever, any Ofra on my channel for different reasons, but of course I'm going to be keeping this one. One of my besties did it, so definitely I'm keeping that one. I'm also keeping the gloss for myself. This one, I did a video recently where I was like seeing whether or not I want to keep things or declutter things. This is the Makeup by Mario, the Moisture Glow like lip color. I think these are not for me. They're too pigmented. They dry down to like a satin finish way too quickly. I just don't love this one. I don't think that this is the one for me. I'm actually going to declutter that one. Oh, here I have another one of these Phyto Glow lip balms. This one is in clear. Can you tell that I love these? I've literally fished out four that I have in rotation. <laughs> I do enjoy them. This is the Clarins Lip Perfector. And I tried this one in pink and I tried the one in red. And I do prefer the one in red. So I'm actually going to keep the one in red and I'm going to get rid of the one in pink. This one also floats around on my desk. This is the Forget the Filler from Lawless. I have a couple of these. I actually have another one. I see it over by my computer. There's a... Colourpop lip oil and there is another one of these forget the filler lip glosses by my computer that I use when I'm editing. This is from the watermelon collection. I'm gonna keep this. This is a nice cooling lip gloss. It is a little plumping but it's cooling. It is not the kind of hurting kind that honestly I really hate. This is one of the newest ones to my collection. This is the uh, candy glazes from Saint Laurent or like YSL is the company. I think these are beautiful, but they're more pigmented than I thought they were going to be. So I kind of wish I'd taken a lighter color. I have the color 04. I think they're nice, but they're not my absolute favorite. But I'm going to keep it around for a bit. Maybe I will change my mind. This one is the lip oil from Aryan Beauty that I wear every night before I go to bed. And I'm almost out. I like it. It's uh, not super heavy, so that if I end up getting it on my pillows, it's not the end of the world. And here are the other three colors that I created with Una's Eye. This is Swamp Fog. It is a nice wearable terracotta. This is a beautiful moussey formula on the lips. You can tell I like a nice terracotta. And then we have Quicksand, which is my most used one. This is a really beautiful warm gloss. Like a warm, like almost like a milky warm yellowy brown gloss it's really pretty and then spectral this one is the uh, more cool toned neutral gloss this one is actually sold out as i'm filming this and we are not restocking it but it was really pretty i'm sorry i'm sad you missed it uh, i really do love it i'm still of course going to be using mine these i am keeping even though i have never used them and i'm just saying that i'm keeping them I've never used them. This is the watery lip stain from Clarins. I want to use them, so I'm keeping them. I love a good lip stain with the lip oil on top. So we are saving them. Here's the other Blend Bunny, the orangey lip oil that usually lives on my desk. I think it's really nice, and I'm going to be keeping it. I like it a lot, actually. Oh, and I think this is the unused one. The Maracuja Juicy Shift. I like the shift ones because they are not as goopy. Unfortunately, they have a little bit of a shift. This one is the green one. I think it's kiwi. Am I lying? Is it kiwi? It's limeade. It's not kiwi. This is limeade and it's like a sheer green and it's gonna have a slight pH adjusting. So it's gonna get a little pink on the lips, but these are nicer. They're not as goopy and for some reason they just have a better consistency. Really like them. I have two now. No regrets whatsoever. This one is one of the ultra matte lips from Colourpop. This is from the Haunted House collection. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I don't wear a lot of ultra matte lips and when I do something that's like this, I usually do the satin ones from Unearthly because they're so good or the ones from Lunar Beauty. I've been wearing this a lot. This one is in Sailor. It's from the new collection. I have the other ones from the new collection somewhere here as well. Sailor one is beautiful. It's like a almost cool tone taupe. It's really beautiful. Absolutely love it. I feel like we should start getting... Well, I'm going to keep this one. But I feel like some of these things are out of order. This is one of the Kaleidos. I've used this the other day. This is Skinship, one of their lip clays. Um... 
I think we are going to go through all of mine. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to go through all of them at the end because I have a few. I, when I say a few, I mean I have all of them, but we have this big box, this big one to go through and to see which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. This is just a mixture of everything. <laughs> this is madness, but I think feel like this is the last big one that we're going to go through before we go through that big Kaleidos one. Oh, and I also have a big one with Nabla lipsticks. Love me some Nabla. I located the other ones from BK Beauty here. So I have the other shades here. So I have Grace. Let me see where I put these. Which is more of the beige one. We're definitely keeping that one. Then we have confidence which is the bright red again i do prefer the one from give beauty uh, and faith a little bit more of a darker plummy one i'm gonna get rid of that one and we have beauty which is again a very for me bright pink so i am gonna keep this beige one as well i'm having i have those over here that's gonna be perfect i have some of these from the scooby-doo collection the second scooby-doo collection that glam light did the uh, lip glosses i am actually going to get rid of those let me see if i can get another one of these to put some stuff in i did really like the lippies though from the hershey collection that they did this is the lip gloss this is the lipstick and i already i uh, saved the lip liners as well and this is the other lipstick like more like nudie ones and the lip gloss. So I'm actually going to save all of these because again, I do like having some options from Glamlight. It is one of my favorite uh, brands and they did have the Velma lipstick as well. Look at how cute this is. I think this is the one that's a little bit more of a terracotta one. So let's save that one too. Another one of these Winx glosses. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. And oh, another one of these from Colourpop, the Glowing Lips. This is a little bit more of an orange one. And clearly we are saving that one. These are from Lunar Beauty. I don't mind the formula of these. This is the collaboration that they did, Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles. But these colors are not my colors. Look at how light that is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I understand that these are meant to be used with a lip liner. I myself, and this is just me, I don't like the look of, I do like the look of a darker lip liner and lighter inside. I just don't do it. I don't do that look a lot. I like having the same color all over unless I'm doing the inverted and I have like darker inside. So for me, these colors were not it. Love the packaging though, but I am going to get rid of these. They were just not the correct color for my personal taste. Another one of these Snow White lipsticks. It is a red. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, why is there a... Can somebody answer why there's a Charlotte Tilbury quad here? <laughs> Should I have talked about this in my eyeshadow palette collection? You know what? Either way, I'm going to keep it. It's just a luxury palette and pillow talk. Again, good for reference, but why is this one here? Nobody knows. Oh, there's so much stuff here. There are some more unearthly things here. I see them. Uh, uh, oh, here's the other one from Lunar Beauty, the liquid lipstick. Honestly, I thought this from the new collection, they were so nice. I'm trying to find the unearthly ones. I can't find them. This is the other lip oil from uh, Blend Bunny. This is the blue one. I know that a lot of people like using something like this to make their lip colors a little bit more cool toned. I usually feel the opposite, that I would like to make my lip colors a little bit more warm toned, which is why I save a lot of warm options and I save that yellow gloss. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I don't, I can't find the other Luna Beauty liquid lipstick that was part of this collection, but this is also from the newer collection. This one is in Abyss. I really like these new colors, so I'm going to be saving this one as well. This is something that I haven't used yet. This is from Ensley Rain. I kept forgetting to use this one, but I'm actually getting their new palette. So I'm going to use this lip gloss when I use that one. It's just a lip gloss in a nice, like, warm, um, peachy pink. So I will be using that one. I need to use it on my lips and not just swatch it. So we're keeping that one. I think this one is unused. This is from Makeup Forever. I bought this at Sephora. Look at this. 
such a pretty color. I want to try out this formula. It's supposed to be a shiny lipstick. So of course we are trying that one. This we're getting rid of. This is the Daphne lipstick. It is not my color. Light baby pink. Not doing that. This is from Makeup Revolution and Grease. Um, I didn't hate it, but I also did not love it. So we're going to get rid of that one. This is the one that I was talking about. The cello one from the... Um, High School Musical Collection with Colourpop. This is a sheer red lip color and I've been using this quite a lot. It's beautiful. It's been living in my purse. Absolutely love it. We're definitely keeping it. It goes in my Colourpop thingy. Oh, and this is the other red one that I was talking about from Clarin. The one that is like that. Sh Again, I, I love a sheer red. I've been really into like what I call a wearable red. So we are going to keep that one as well. And... There's another one of those tint from Clarins. I still want to use them, so we are going to keep that. Oh my god, I feel like they're trying to escape from me. There is a lot of ones from the same brand. This is an eyeshadow stick from Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Do not know what that is here. This is another one of these. This is from Peeps. Uh, this is not as orange as I actually wanted it to be, so I actually think I will get rid of this one. And the Lux Gloss, again, not my favorite formula. About Face released a gloss, and I had high hopes for this one, but it is very, very fully opaque. Some glosses that are opaque, you can shear them out, and they're still very glossy. This one, it does not stay glossy if you shear it out. So for me, I'm gonna actually get rid of that one. Oh, here's the gloss that Ofra did together with... This one is in Koa that they did together with my friend Ali. Again, I'm saving it because Ali is my friend and I want to keep it. Another one of these clearance lip tints. We're saving it. I need to reorganize this a bit. This one was really nice. This is from Lottie London. This is the Cheeky Kiss uh, lip color. These were nice. I'm actually going to keep this one. They're not goopy at all. They're very smooth and light and they look beautiful. And it's a nice wearable pink that I actually can get behind. I'm going to save this one as a nice like drugstore option. I thought this one was really nice. This one is from Kosas. This is the Kosas um, Wet Sticks in Sunset Simmer. This goes on really pretty. But it wears off so quickly that it might as well just have been a balm. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Let's just keep it at I don't understand. More uh, unearthly. Let's put that in the unearthly bag. Oh, here is the uh, Jason or like the Friday the 13th lipstick. A little bit of a peachy number. I think we are going to keep that one. Look at me actually keeping some glam light stuff. They've been releasing some good lippies this year. And this is the last color from the new collection from Lunar Beauty. This one is in Pink Pearl. Actually, I've used this one quite a lot. Surprisingly a lot for like just getting it and for being a little bit more of a pinky one. I'm on board. Oh, this is another one of those Makeup Forever ones that I bought. Again, have not used it. This one again has been suffering in the texas sun this is their striking spice from makeup forever and this is another one of those lip colors i wanted to try i think this one is a satin and the other one the red one this one that i showed you i think this one is supposed to be a glossy formula and this is supposed to be a satin formula oh this is not even supposed to be here this is a lip scrub from elf i like it though but not supposed to be here this is the finding ferdinand and khaki gloss i don't usually do sparkly glosses it smells like limoncello, and I will say I really do enjoy that, but I don't do a lot of sparkly glosses like this. I prefer a gloss without sparkles most of the time, so I'm actually going to get rid of this. Really, really did enjoy the blushes, though. Those were beautiful. This is the Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. I don't know why this is with my lippies. Is this the one that's like a little orangey, right? Hello? Do you want to come out? Come out, come out. I feel like I should probably try and use this on my cheeks too, right? I'm actually going to put this in my cheek drawer. And I'm going to see if I can use this as a blush too. Because that is a beautiful color. And we all know how I feel about orange. Um, this is from Beauty and the Beast by Sigma. I did like these lip creams formula-wise. But they're not my type of formula. Because they're a highly pigmented gloss. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. And for the exact same reason, I'm going to get rid of the Give Gloss. 
very highly pigmented gloss and this one is like milky like it is so highly pigmented oh my god i'm getting this all over it's just not my journey it's a little goopy on the lips this one is not goopy on the lips though but it's just not my favorite types of formulas Ooh, wait why is the brow lamination gel here this one wasn't even good let's get rid of that one really fun things here the uh, lip oils by bh cosmetics these were okay but i have better ones especially in orange so i'm gonna get rid of this one why is that there is a lot of weird things here this is the lottie london stamp liner we're gonna get rid of that one let me see i feel like there are things in here that should not be in here hold okay so i was able to get like the actual lip products out uh, and just get rid of all the other ones we have a ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. This is still not my favorite formula, so we are going to get rid of that one. This is a gloss from the Rick and Morty collection. It's very metallic. It's pretty cool. Not my favorite. We're going to get rid of that one. This is the second color of the Lisa Eldridge that I was talking about. I think this is Dragon. Yes, Dragon. And it's a really cool color, and I really do, like I said, like this formula. So we are keeping that one. Did not, though, love the formula of the Moosey ones from Charlotte Tilbury. This was the Airbrush Lippies. I think this is in Pillow Talk. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't love this formula. I thought it was just not great. And again, there's the other one of the lip oils from Rare Beauty. I know people love this one. I didn't think it was a good formula, so I am going to get rid of that one. Here is, oh, two orangey things. This is the lip oil from Juvia's Place. Not bad, but not as good as some of my other lip oils. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is something that I've never used. This is the liquid lipstick from Color Drain. But look at this color. This is a me color. I'm going to save it. And I need to use it. Like, it's so beautiful. Definitely keeping that one. I have three of the, if I can find the other ones, from Fantasy Cosmetica. Ah, here it is. The yellowy one. These are the lip oils that came out in the um, Warlock collection. These are really beautiful. They're sheer, they're shiny, they're wonderful on the lips. The red one is a little bit more pigmented, so I actually think I'm going to get rid of this one because I would have liked this to be a little bit more sheer too. So I'm saving these two. This was one of the most painful things this year. <laughs> this is the Give Beauty Plumping Lip Balm. This is intensely irritating on the lips. It's very, one of those like burning ones. I did not like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. I have these glosses by uh, Kaleidos. They came out with these this year. And even though I didn't love the other part of this collection, I loved the glosses. Is this all of them? No, there's one more here. I think these are all. These are wonderful. The formula is wonderful. They are beautiful on the lips. I don't, like I said, love a lot of sparkly glosses, so I am going to get rid of those. Then we have one that's a little bit more of a pinky one, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And I think that Hot Pursuit, let me see how these are. Hot Pursuit looks like this. It's like a little bit of a smoky mauve. And then we have the Last Smoke. It's even more of, yeah, the purpley... You can see it's lighter and has even more gray in it. I think I prefer that one over the other one. And the last one is Skinny Dip. And this is more of a, a beige. Like a light beige. So I think I'm going to keep the two lighter colors. They're more the type of glosses that I go for. And I really did enjoy that formula. Then we have the Jason Wu uh, Honey Fluff. Is this a liquid lipstick? I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't even remember how this was, so it can't be that memorable. Oh, I have two of the Jones Road shiny lipsticks. These are great if you want to have one of those, like, buildable formulas that give some shine to the lips, like a balm. I have a one that is in Nude Mauve that does not have any shimmer to it. And you don't want that kind of a goopy formula that some of them give. And this one is in Rose Mocha. It is more of a shimmery one. I think I'm going to save, you know what, I'm going to save the shimmery one because it's a little bit more unique, but I really do love this formula, I just don't need two of them. If you like, like I said, a little bit more of a sheer lip color, give some shine, but it's not goopy on the lips, I definitely recommend these. I'm saving the shimmery one, that's the mocha one. Let me see if I can organize these after 
formulations. Oh, here's another one of these glosses. Seems a little pink. Elixir. We're getting rid of that one too. So we put the Lawless over here. The Lunar Beauty over here. I also have one of these Fenty ones. How do you... How are you supposed to... Oh, you're supposed to twist it. I thought that this was going to be more of an orangey red, but this is more of a red that's a satin. I don't hate it, but I don't love it as much as I thought I was going to do. So I actually think that I will um, get rid of this one. It is a limited edition case, but I, I just wasn't blown away. I used it twice and I just wasn't blown away. Here's another one of these uh, lip oils by BH Cosmetics. Again, they were just okay. I will save this lip cream. It is in Begonia, just for reference. Because again, I didn't think that this was a bad formulation. It just isn't the kind of formula that I go for all the time. But I'm saving one for reference from Sigma. These are the new lip creams. I also have one of these glosses. This is in Honey Honey from Juvia's Place. Same here, just for like reference. This is like a warm caramel. This is actually really, really nice. A beautiful color. I should be using this one more. Let me put that with the other Juvia's Place. Okay. I don't think I need to save because these Lunar Beauty lipsticks, I have all of them. I got sent them as PR. You press the moon and they come out. I don't think I need to save all of them. This is the one in Icon. Let me see if I can put these out and we can see which ones we need to keep and which ones we can get rid of because I don't need to save everyone. Okay, so this is a red in Holiday. I think I'm going to get rid of that one because, again, I don't wear red lipstick enough to have, like, a million different options. Oh, this one is so cute. Okay, so I usually don't go for a brighter pink like this, but I remember this one on, and it was such a cool color, so I actually want to keep it. This is Stormy. I also really love this beige one in Milk Tea. I think that this one that is the Doodle, it's like a lighter pink. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I also really love this one. It's like a fiery orange. It is in Tia's and we are going to be saving that one. And then we have three more colors and they're a little bit more on the neutral -y side. Maybe we'll save... Let me see how close these are to the, each other. I don't think I'll save this lightest one that is an icon. So let's get rid of icon. And I wanted to save this one in milk tea. And should I save the one in stormy then? Because it's the most different. Okay, there we go. Made up my mind. Look at me. Look at me go. I also need to do something similar with the lawless lipsticks. Um, Tropic is my favorite. It's like a nice wearable very it's a different coral it's really nice so tropic is my favorite uh cookie is my second favorite it's like a little bit more of a brownie one i also really love the one that's called uh soft truffle is nice too i can't find it but soft truffle is like a nice more uh wearable like a nudie nudie shade might keep that one Fem pink. No. Wedding day. Almost light beige pink. No. Uh, platinum. Almost white on me. Like this is lighter than my skin tone. No. Mink. It's a little bit of a mauve, but I feel like I've saved a couple of these. So no. This one is fawn. Again, almost white. No. Daisy girl. Baby pink. No. Morocco is the one that I like. It's like a, a darker, again, a mid-tone, like, nude on me. And then we have... Who's that lady? It's a red. I don't need another red. And then we have Annie, which is almost a white peach so we're not keeping that so i kept four i really do like this formula this new satin formula by lawless and i'm excited that we're keeping four of those those are the four that i've actually been using 
And then we have some of the new lippies from Unearthly. I have the orangey gloss that is called Psych. We're definitely keeping that one, but I am gonna get rid of the other two sparkly ones. Cause again, if I wear a sparkly gloss, it's usually something in the color that I really like or something that's a little different, like either this orange one or the green one that I saved before. But the pink and the purple, I'm gonna get rid of. And then we have, oh, this is a gloss that is a multi-chrome. This is not my journey. This is Predator. Let me actually show those. These are liquid lipsticks that are, you can see, it's almost like a little green, dark. They're very different, very cool. And this is a lip oil by Unearthly. I really hope she comes out with more in this formulation. They're beautiful. But let me show you this gloss. I know some people are going to look at this gloss and they're going to be like, this is exactly what I want in my life. I am not that person. I, it's like green, blue, duochrome. Um, not my journey. Not my journey. Not for me. For others, just not for me. Okay. I have some Nabla to show you. These need to be washed. Ew. I have some Nabla to show you. And then I have some Kaleidos to show you. Here are the Nabla lipsticks and glowy lipsticks and satin lipsticks both of these formulas are absolutely amazing well there's another Vico beauty here. this one is in gratitude uh it's a little pink let's get rid of that one both of these formulations are absolutely stunning but i don't need they sent me all of the colors and i don't need all of the colors there are some new limited edition colors that they sent me and i have not used all of these yet there is a light peach. It's like a wearable mid-tone pink. And this one I have worn, it's called Love Me. And then there is a bright, almost like fuchsia, but a little muted. I'm, I look forward to wearing this one. This one is in Carnal Flower. These are part of their newest limited edition collections. I am gonna be keeping these three ones. Let me actually pull out one where we can put some Nabla, but I don't need to keep all of the other ones. This is Berry Call, again, beautiful, but I don't need to keep it. Uh, there is Karma Red. That one is stunning though. Let me put that in the maybe pile. Then we have Rocket Fuchsia. This one is too bright of a pink. It needs to be darker or more muted. So we're getting rid of that one. Uh, Heat Wave Clay, this is stunning. Let's put that to the side. This is Signature Red. Again, beautiful, but I have my Signature Red already. Uh, Peach Deal. That is stunning. Let's put that to the side. And uh, Eclipse Nude. I do like a color like that because this is a comfort matte that is fully matte on the lips. Very beautiful formula. This is Naked Mauve. This is a really nice one as well. I've actually used this one quite a bit. It's like a mauve for me. And then we have Glam On. Oh, it's getting hard. It is getting hard. My husband is looking at this and he's like, they're all the same. Please don't. Oh, and this one is Coffee Nude. Um, so I like all of these. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. That's the Karma Red. I feel like I have similar things. But oh, I love all of these. I love all of these colors. All of these. Like I want all of them. <laughs> And I really, really do like this formulation. So maybe I'll just keep them around for a year because this is a new formula to my collection. I'm still very much enjoying this one. So even though they are fairly similar, I, I see it. I see it. I understand. Uh, I think I'm going to keep all of them. Don't come for me. Then we have the glowy formula. This is a beautiful formulation. This is a bright red. This is red sapphire. I don't think I will be keeping this. And this is Blooming. This is also a bright red. Again, do I need this? No, I think I have enough of the, the red ones. This is Lus. Oh, now we're getting into the colors that I really like. This is going to be hard. This one is Ardor. Uh, how am I going to pick? Look at how pretty that is. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Okay, this one I can get rid of. This is nocturnal. It's like a dark purple. Okay, getting rid. <laughs> Look at me go. This is Dia. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is gonna be tricky. Oh, 
this is sublime look at that that is absolutely lovely and then we have lunar this is my favorite lunar it's a warm caramelly beige nobody's surprised the least of all my husband this is libido and this is really cool because it is a little bit of that like muted red but i think i'm gonna keep this one over Okay, so we have decided that. So let's get rid of libido and let's keep this one that was the ar ar arbor. Let's keep that one. Look at me. And then solstice. This one is so beautiful too. Oh, how am I supposed to pick? How am I supposed to pick? Oh my God, one of them went on the floor. How am I supposed to pick between these? They're all perfect. They're all perfect. Maybe I'll get rid of this one, actually. This one that's called Dia. Maybe I don't need that one, too. Look, because it's pretty similar to this one, but just a little bit more on the pinky side. L look at me. I'm getting rid of one more. Okay. I really like this formula, so don't come for me. It's, it's one of the best things that's been released this year. So I have one of these little boxes that I have gotten from Kaleidos that looks like this. And you open it and all of the lip clays are in here. So I am going to take these out and we can have a look at them. Because I don't know if I'm going to keep this situation of a furniture. Um, furniture-esque. Because I, I don't think I'm going to be keeping all of them basically so this is what they look like these are all the different ones that we have so let me take them out and we can see who which ones we are actually keeping let me see if i can just put them in to make it easier so let's see which ones we want to keep and which ones we don't want to keep this one is in adobe i know that this one is pretty nice because it is like a peachy one so we might keep that one let's swatch out this oh let's swatch out these nude ones they come in different collections this is the sienna one this is the one that's a little bit more of the brown one and this one that is dune <laughs> i feel like they're all the same Let's get rid of Dune because I don't think that that is a shade that we're going to reach for. And then we have Terra. This is definitely my shade. The one that's like more orangey. Maybe we'll keep that one and we'll get rid of the other ones. Or let me see what other light ones we have. Because we have another collection with nudes as well. I feel like it's this one. Here we have Cold Smoke. Oh, that is really cool, though. The cold smoke. And then we have Skinship. This is the one that I wore the other day. It's a really beautiful, like, super light one. So we are going to keep that one. And Mercury Wave. Oh, is this the one? Oh, okay. Let's keep that one. That's very interesting and different. I have some of these that are, like, a little bit more brighter. This one is in uh, Fiamma. I don't wear shades like that a lot. So let's get rid of that one. And mahogany. This is not like... I don't wear dark shades like this a lot. So let's get rid of that too. We have rubino. Again, don't wear shades like this a lot. So we are going to get rid of that one. And scorpion fruit, if I'm not mistaken. Is this the black one? I might keep that. There is definitely a time and a place for that. Same as the one that's agave. I feel like this is the blue one there is a time and a place for that definitely so let's keep that one as well this one is smeared rogue it's a dark red i'm gonna get rid of that one here is pink moon again pink not my journey i'm gonna get rid of that one this is dahlia also a red let me get rid of that one too and cactus flower oh that's a very bright pink I don't think that's my journey either. Then we have Queen of the Night. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Ooh, is this like a dark purple? There might be a time and a place for that, but I feel like I have the Juvia's Post lipsticks for that. And then Cognac. Mm, 
I think I might say this one instead, actually. The one that's, the more I look at it, the more I like it. The Cold Smoke, which was the, uh, this one right here. I think I'll save that one instead. And then we have Wild Apple, which is a, a little reddish, and Bear. Ooh, is this another one that's like, ooh. You know what, I might save that one instead. I might save that one instead and get rid of these two. Which ones were these? Uh, Sienna and Adobe. Yeah, look at me. I'm only saving a few. I feel very good about this. I do love this formula, but I feel like I've been overwhelmed with the amount of shades I have instead of just keeping the ones that I actually really, really like. I'm going to bring all of the things out again, and I'm going to organize them better in their containers, and then we can count how many I get rid of. Okay, so I took some time to organize some of these boxes. So we have Colourpop, we have Unearthly, we have some bullet lipsticks um, here, and lip glosses, and just a bunch of different things. I have all my like glossy lipsticks in a stick. I have some Lunar Beauty uh, liquid lipsticks from Indie Brands. I have some drugstore here, or like affordable options, plus I put my florists here. I have some more like luxury options here. All of my beautiful lip oils that I really love. And I have some My Lippies with Uden's Eye, plus some Glam Light options here. And I also put some like more like high-end options from Sephora Ulta, and also some more high-end options here. Plus, I put all uh, of my other lip oils and like, yeah, I have uh, two with like lip oils and lip treatments and stuff like that. I might reorganize this a little bit, but right now, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna put this into my cupboards. I will say though, I mean, when you're seeing this, we have probably already moved to our new home and I will be filming another one of those getting my beauty room together. So I will show you once I'm like in position, how this actually all ended up being in this new space. So if you are interested in seeing how all of this fits into my organization, stay put. I will put a video like that up soon. <laughs> okay, so I have a basket here and I have quite a bunch of things here that I have decluttered. So we are now gonna be counting I think I'm gonna have to like take some breaks in between because there is quite a lot of stuff here just to make sure that I don't miscount. But let's start. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is 100. Okay, that is 100. Oh my god, there's long hair here. There's 100, so let me see how many is in this box, and then we can switch it over. Okay, that is 120. 120 in this one. Let's put it to the side. And let's do this one and let's scooch in some eep, some more products. I have some more here. So that is 120 and let's just start from the beginning again. So just one, two, three, four, five.
107, 108, 109, 110, 111. 111 plus 120, that is 231. You know what? I feel happy about that. This year has been a lot all about lip products. A lot of brands have been releasing a lot of lip products and a lot of bigger lip collections have come out from brands this year and a lot of like lip oils and lip treatments and I've been wanting to try them to find the ones that I think are best and now I'm just getting rid of the ones that weren't the absolute best or just stuff that I haven't been getting a lot of use of in my collection. And again, this is what I do for a living. I try all of it so that I can let you know which ones are the absolute best to try out. And hopefully this whole like declutter series has been a little bit helpful for you. Like I said, I will have an upcoming like makeup storage, makeup room kind of a video. And if you wanted to see my other declutter videos in this series, there will be a playlist down below. Thank you so much for being here with me for another declutter season. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.